So Hannah, tell me, why are we here today? Um, to look at the beautiful lights. The beautiful lights, <laughs> right, I know. And right. enjoy a photo walk. Yep, it is indeed. It's actually very nice today. I mean, the, the weather is really good. Actually, I was worried it was going to rain, but... Yeah, I was worried as well, because it actually tells us exactly that it's going to rain today. I don't know if I'm just talking, but... Yeah, pretty what good. Was perfect. Good. Yeah, it's and everything. Right, so this is Hannah. He's our teacher today. He's actually looking after us tonight, so taking photos of us, you know, the Harbour Bridge behind us. And Hannah is also a, what, a Sony, Sony advocate. advocate. And I work with other brands like Sam Young and uh, Timba Benro. Good day, my name is Ernest and I love sharing with you my thoughts through lifestyle, awareness, travel and gratitude. In this day and age, we are captivated with a daily routine but never get the opportunity to document our own story. A story that can have an impact. This is something that I have seen in my entire life. The world is changing faster than ever and it's imperative that we change it. I believe that the stories of today will be the history of tomorrow. And by documenting, I can help shape those stories for a better future. Welcome to another episode of my vlog and guess where am I at the moment? So I'm currently in Sydney and I'm basically based here now at Circular Key and today we are going to witness one of the fascinating about the winter festival here in Sydney, Australia and this is what I call Vivid Festival. So every year it is an annual event held here at the Sydney, New South Wales and I just want to let you know guys how fantastic it is to be able to capture the beauty of Sydney at night with these cascading lights illuminating the whole city and not only that it is it is one of the annual festival lights music ideas always held here in Sydney Australia and on a yearly basis so taking into consideration that at the last two years we never had experienced this kind of event due to the pandemic but now it's back and we are so excited to be able to see the whole beauty of Sydney at night not only the, the, the lights but also the installations and just you know taking a walk the whole city at night it gives everyone the freedom to just run around the city of Sydney and enjoy the nightscape of Sydney. And every year, tourists alike and also the people from the different states here in Australia get a chance to really visit the whole city of Sydney during this winter festival and it's something that a lot of people would definitely enjoy and yeah during this time you know hotels and accommodations are quite really very expensive it's because a lot of people from different states come to Sydney book their hotels and just you know having a good time wonderful experience to really infuse the illuminations of the city of Sydney So Vivid Sydney is an annual festival of lights and it's actually curated through music and ideas held here in Sydney, Australia and when I say about it, it's also, you know, includes outdoor immersive, yeah, immersive lights installation from across the city of Sydney and also the projections. You can also see that from the projections from the Opera House which I curated and invite musicians, international um, creative artists and putting it all together here to give such a tremendous tremendous um, perform performances here in Sydney and also it, it is free in the public here in, in Sydney and if you ever get a chance to visit Sydney you know you know exactly Vivid Festival is a one big event here in Australia Oh my goodness, second day and everyone is all here. I don't know, I think it's one of the crowdest night tonight, except from yesterday. So I passed by here yesterday and it was a bit crowded too. But today, second day, it's always crowded because it's weekend and weekend there's always plenty of people who 
actually wanted to enjoy the Vivid Festival. And of course, you know, on a weekend, they get a chance to go out, have dinner first, and then walk all the way from the city and get a chance to see the beauty of the installations and lights across the city. And I think it goes straight all the way from Central Station to the Circular Quay. But I came here today all the way to Circular Quay because it's just easier for me because I just want to see the whole thing first from the Circular Quay and then make my way down, down to Central Station. But hey, look, behind me, they're just so bustling with a lot of people. And look at the lights behind me. Isn't it cool? Isn't it? There's just so many people. I'm trying my best to vlog and give you the best view of the um, Vivid Festival. But I think I may need to come back on some other days. Because it's only on the second day. And I haven't been able to explore more. I wanted to explore more on a different side of the city but then it's just a lot of people here and it's so impossible to vlog and probably brought the wrong lens but look at the I hope you I hope it finds justice when really showing you the lights of the Sydney Opera House so this is what we call the Sydney Opera House behind me and just look how beautiful it is illuminated with 3d dimensional lights created and projected with different indigenous paintings on top of it and also with the lights here to the side with the Sydney Opera House you can also find the Sydney Harbour Bridge behind me with all the lights dancing lights on top of the bridge this is the second day of the event here and it will run until maybe the 23rd of July and it's always here every night the sale the light starts at 6 p.m. it will turn on at 6 p.m. because 5 30 p.m. here in Australia after the daylight savings time is quite really dark now and six o'clock is just the perfect timing because it gets really really dark so all the lights here has been turned off except for the light that has been illuminated behind me which is the Sydney Opera House and get, giving you the whole perspective of the city illuminated at night look how beautiful it is behind me right so we we'll go around and check out some of the installations within the area and we'll talk about it and um, and giving you access to some of the installations all right let's go So the reasons why I'm here today at the Vivid Festival is that I am joining a group which consists of all professional photographers and most of them are actually using Sony cameras and when you look at the cameras, you know, the real, real professional cameras, you'll be felt like you're just really an amateur. But hey, you know, it's not all about the camera itself, but it's the way you actually handle your story and the content itself. So let's go check them out today and I just want to give you a little bit of hint on what they're doing tonight and I am also taking you behind the scene you know what cameras they were using and also what lenses they're using I've heard that there are a lot of lenses actually available where they can actually switch and you know borrow but yeah I just want to introduce you to Hannah Saba which is also a Sony advocate that I am so excited for you guys to actually meet him is because he done so much professionally in terms of all these workshops taking photography street photography and all these lights and fabulousness so today let's just go and check out what they are currently doing behind the scene and you know it's also good indications that you know when you're doing photo walk like this it's, it is also a best way for you to learn from the creative side and creative imaginary f world because most of these people have like thousands and thousands like you know speaking of 100 to 200 case Instagram followers because they're all professionals and I'm so lucky to be part of this group so I can actually learn from them and exchange knowledge and ideas and talk to them itself
Yeah. <laughs> that is a serious camera. What camera do you use? That's what happens. This one. When you know. <laughs> Just say seven three. Eight seven three. Wow. <laughs> So what's the secret to photography? Keeping one eye closed. Keeping one eye closed. And one like eye that. open. You never know what you're going to capture. That's right. Lock it in, hold it, lock the screen and turn it into manual, and that's it, it's not gonna move. And then, instead of it sort of going pretty. I know it is. A lot of people, a lot of walking. Good fun. It is fun. <laughs> Good lights. Definitely we'll do it again when there's less of a crowd, actually. Yeah, I think so. You should post it tomorrow. Second, second walk. Whoa, this is it. That's I was actually trying to do a second walk, but uh, I've been booked out and I've only got the portrait for next week. So you're, you're so popular. Everyone is booking you, so that's it. Unfortunately, I'm happy. It's good. Well, after two years, Ron. So that's it for tonight, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the photo walk today. And just hit a comment below what you think about it. And let me know. I need some feedback. And also, if you're new here to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button.